Good evening, everyone. This is Tina again. Okay. Um, I think this is uh, probably the last option if we want to do to add some custom code during the creation phase. Okay. And uh, this one is uh, slightly different from other ways I have introduced because this one is kind of like uh, global but actually it uh, is used uh, in LP there's a uh, one uh, class called uh, abstract advising being post processor which is used in spring LP to add some proxy uh, logic which is using this one but I'm not sure it might be useful for you too okay um, but it's gonna be kind of like a global and you can also has a multiple bin post processor then you can using the order property or you can implement the ordered interface to make sure it will have a certain order to go through this multiple bin post processor anyway let's take a look at how to do that okay okay so i'm gonna continue using this one and in this case i have to create another bin uh, another class let's call custom bin post processor okay and for this one, we have to implement the bin post processor. And after we implement, actually it has uh, two methods, which is a uh, callback methods you can override. Both of them have a default implementation inside uh, the interface. Okay, you can customize. Let me see if I can customize. Okay. Okay, these two okay overrides and if we return now here then you cannot get a beans so we have to return this bean okay and uh, this return this bean and here we just uh, do nothing once you get uh, this bean you can customize right and uh, here we will give a bean name uh, post Bean, oh, sorry, bean net, and then we have another one. This out and uh, post after class bean name. Okay, when are they called? When are they called? Let's let me show you the diagram. Okay, one is a post process before, one is after. Okay. Here, see here, this bin post processor here and another bin post processor here. So it has two methods. This one, this part is the post. Uh, what's the thing? This one is this one. Post pro uh, process before initialization is called after those aware interface is called this one. And this one will be post bin after initialization, which is after this custom init method is called. So you can have some logic in both of the methods if you want to do something, okay? So after I do it this way, when we run, nothing will happen in this case. See, both of them are not called, right? post process and you have to register it and to register it, you have two ways okay the first way is you just define a bin okay id you can use in custom uh, custom post bin processor class is regen dot custom bin post process and uh, when you have this bin defined here for spring it will detect this is a bin post processor. Then it will gonna register it. So during the creation uh, phase, it gonna life cycle. It gonna using the. It will call these two callbacks. Let me run it. See here. Take a look at. Take a look at. 
after uh, this is the constructor, right? This is a constructor. Uh, uh, because my setter, I don't have a setter now, so my setter method is not being called. And uh, this three is that aware interface. After that, it will call being post processor, post process before initialization. Okay, and then it will call the post construct. This is a post construct. Where's my post construct? Uh, this one. This is a post construct, and this one is yes, when we uh, implement initializing the bin that interface. It has after property set method callback. And after that, it will also call the bin post processor post after initialization and the cast. Okay. If you change the name, if you change the values here, this is gonna be the last uh, place. Okay, to be changed. You can also change the name here. Okay. And uh, this is the first way. I think the other way is if you don't do like this way. You can also add this one as a component because in our Spring XML, we ask it to scan for all the classes under this package, right? So when we add the components, Spring will know, okay, I have to initialize, initialize a bin for that, then it will register it, okay? So what I did is instead of manually create this one here, I add a component here and let's run one more time and you will see it's also being called and let me show you something else this is gonna be kind of like a global suppose here I create another class okay create another class called uh, uh, let's call address how about that and uh, uh, I don't do anything I just add a address Oh, sorry, 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 not address, component. Let's see what's gonna happen, okay? Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, uh, let's see what's gonna happen. Run it. Okay, see, see, take a look at it. So, in this case, Spring has to initialize actually three bin, but this one is for the bin post processor, so you want to see it, it's being initialized uh manually here okay so here we have address add a component and have a customer right using the component and the spring we are trying to initialize these two bins for us right and uh, take a look at here this piece information is uh, what yes for when we initialize this address it call the two callbacks in the bin post processor. See here? Bin post processor, when we initialize address, it will call them. And when we initialize customer, it will call them. But for other like aware, those interface or initializing bin interface and a customer init post constructor, it will target to particular in uh, bin. But for this one, it will target for all the bins in particular IOC container, okay? If you use another IOC container, it's gonna be different, okay? So when using this one, if you want to target for a particular instance, I don't suggest because it's gonna be global, okay? And if you have some like a LP or those kind of behavior, then you can use this one. We'll target for multiple uh, bins, okay? Uh, that's it for bin post processor and uh, I'm gonna have uh, another video probably to show you everything while we are using the Java classes to do the configuration instead of the XML so if you are, if you are interested you can take a look at uh, uh, other videos okay so but the idea is the same Mm, I think that's all. Uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.